Hello guys, welcome to my eighth video tutorial on HTML5 and in this video we will talk about the flexible box model. Uh, the flexible box model is a new concept and a new way of creating and putting all the sections of your website together. So we will start a new uh, website. We already did a, a website from scratch in the fourth video lecture I think uh, with all the CSS and we put all together um, a website a simple website uh, but in this time I'm gonna use uh, pretty uh, a lot of new stuff in CSS3 and um, I'm also gonna use uh, the flexible box model um, which is basically uh, a way for you to um, have all of your sections on your website and uh, be flexible. That will help a lot of um, of putting your site all together um, in different, uh, let's say, resolutions or different uh, monitor resolutions, like mobile devices. That will help uh, a lot of that. So let's start right away. So the first thing we will do is uh, make sure you have this code. We'll create a test.html and a style.css. Okay, those two files. Now I'm going to start by creating a um, header. So we will use pretty much the new elements of HTML5: the header, the section, the article pretty much as we did in the in the other video uh, I'm gonna give the header a night oops sorry an ID of head and close header and here let's give h1 and let's type flexible Let's give this a title of flexible box model. Now down here, let's create a navigational bar as well. Let's call this navigation. And let's close this. Now inside it, we have to create the UL close UL and of course the LIs let me copy this let's create only three that's enough in between let me type home this initially for a website would be links right but in this case I'm gonna leave it this way because we will this is not the objective of the tutorial okay I'm gonna focus the focusing the focus of this tutorial is the flexible box model so I'm gonna leave this these words without being links contact okay now save this let's continue down here just have to type a section Oops, sorry. Uh, section, let's give the section an ID as well. Call it main. Let's call the section. Uh, close, sorry, close the section. And in here, we can start putting uh, the article. Let's close article. In here let's type header remember that inside articles we can use headers as well as footers so let's close header now inside a header I'm going to use the H group okay to group all the uh, headers 
sorry, the H1 and H2 titles. This is H group. So now H1, close H1, and let's give it an H2. H, sorry, H2. Okay, first one would be, let me tied article title. This is article sub title. Now what I'm going to do is uh, even inside the section what I'm going to do is create a new article but I don't have much time so what I'm going to do is copy this and paste it here. Perfect. Um, now let's change this. Let me type here second article title, second article subtitle. Okay, perfect. Um, oh yes, I forgot. We have to type. Uh, we have to create footers as well. I'm going to create a footer here, pretty much as we did in the first video. In the first video that we created a uh, website, we had. I forgot to put here. Um, sorry, not here. After the header, the closing tag of header, we create a paragraph and let's type this is the article text. Okay, and let's create a uh, footer. Close footer. Let's say here, paragraph, let's say written by Victor, close paragraph. Now what we have to do is grab this, okay, the paragraph, this is the article text, and the footer, copy, come down here, and right after Heather here of the second article, copy paste it. Okay, uh, so let's save this and I think we are done. Let me run this in Chrome. Okay, this is what we have for now in the um, in the browser. Okay, now it's all very um, it's all very confusing. It's all uh, just these are you can think of uh, boxes, um, all these are boxes, okay? Um, the articles, all these elements are boxes. And they are basically uh, one on top of another. Now, I'm going to show you how we can put this uh, using CSS all together, uh, very different from we we used to do in XHTML uh, or in uh, normal CSS. CSS3. I'll show you how you can put this all together pretty fast and flexible boxes. So whenever you short your um, browser, they will uh, automatically um, will be uh, will be short uh, and flexible boxes too. Okay, that will be pretty uh, useful for uh, mobile devices. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But first just have to type a few little things more in here like for example the A side I forgot the A side which is going to be um, a side uh, navigation navigation bar let me type here um, A side let me give an ID Eco side, let's call it side box. And inside here, let's type h2, h2, let's give here, this is going to be the news section, 
and let's type Victor SPAC something like that okay um now the footer okay let's type let's type the footer close footer oh the footer let's give it an ID of the copy the copyright and here you can type like we usually do in in a lot of the uh, websites copyright let me type here and click Academy 2012 now let me save this and I think we are done oh no we still have to type here I'm gonna create divs to wrap it up to wrap some sections of the website so the first div I'm gonna create it's uh, the wrapper which is right next to the body so I'm gonna wrap it up everything inside the website div ID in here I'm gonna type wrapper and this I'm gonna close this right here okay to wrap it up so I'm gonna wrap it up everything and the next thing I'm gonna wrap is um, the section which is in here uh, and this I'm gonna call this div ID equals new and I'm gonna close this in just right here before the footer okay in here close div after the a side and that's it that's pretty much it let me uh, save this and we are done uh, in this video in the next video we will continue with um, start with the style.css okay we will start doing the the new CSS uh, properties that I told you about so uh, that's it and see you guys in the next video bye